on CFUV 101.9 FM and CFUV.ca. Uh, Basement Closet Sessions, you can also catch them on YouTube. Uh, today, I'm really excited to say that uh, live in studio, we have Elder Sister Plum. Hello. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to be back at CFUV. It's been a long time. Oh, we'll just get right into it. Uh, the song is called Not All Heroes. Didn't you say you'd be okay? Never would have wanted it this way, they say. You wanted to be a hero, but you lost your case. Guess you might have been a hero by some other name. Didn't I say I'd be okay? Try to predict, but shit. I don't wear a cape You know I could have been a hero And saved this place
most people are definitely used to hearing me play the acoustic guitar. Very excited to be bringing something different today. Uh, this is kind of what I've been doing for the last couple of years, um, but just in my bedroom because it's been a pandemic and I wasn't really performing. A lot of my songs uh, deal with my mental health stuff, death, grief in general. Um, just so you know, people, the people listening can be sort of uh, sometimes a little heavier subject matter, but um, I'm just so grateful I have music to help me process these things. So I hope that listening is, is also cathartic. It's very cathartic for me to play. Uh, this song is called Hunger Tales. to know 
we'll play, those are some kind of newer songs. Then I get into some older songs, but that doesn't necessarily mean anyone listening has ever heard them before. Some of these songs I've never performed. I think I probably performed this one once or twice, but I wrote it like many, many years ago. Um, it's called, yeah, it's called Insomniac. <clears throat> 6 a.m. again The sun is up and I got nowhere to be I fill my cup with a hot drink and honey Find rocks in my bed and bruises on my Sick again, or am I just too tired of trying? Sometimes I like a lot of spoons just to feel like I'm not dying. Three meals a day is supposed to be satisfying.
hello to anyone who's out there listening and or watching. Um, the next song I'm going to play is also quite an old one. It's called Colorful Dark. It's interesting because it still feels very relevant today. But again, it's a very old song. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of about trying to get on medication for mental health stuff. And uh, f lots of people listening probably know that that's a real terrible time a lot of the time. A lot of shitty doctors, uh, irresponsible doctors. Uh, yeah, and it's also kind of about being able to mask and not having people know what's going on for you. I'm working on some recordings and I have a recording of that song that has like 
Get some like kick drum and some claps and some synths. Um, I've been playing that song for such a long time and it's fun to play uh, very repetitive chord progression. So it's really fun to listen to with more stuff going on. Uh, the next couple of songs I'm going to play, um, I was uh, had a project going with my friend Brett, and we were in the Half Moon Shine together, um, and the choir, and the Moon Choir, and we were working on these songs uh, just a bit before the pandemic started, and we, we did record them. Um, and then uh, Brett ended up moving to Toronto because she's badass and she's getting her midwifery degree, which is awesome. The recordings got lost in the void, as will happen sometimes. Um, but I'm going to be working on mixing those this summer. Very excited for you to hear them at some point. Um, so yeah, this is this is one of those songs that Brett and I were working on together. Doesn't have a name. I think I'll just leave it that way. this next one is called Earthquakes. I have to make some adjustments on the panels down here.
Yeah. All right. This song is called Earthquake. Okay, I just have a couple more songs for you folks. A 
I've got all my notes written down here. I like to write down the first line of every song on my set list in case I panic and forget how the song goes. It, hot tip, it works very well for me. I just gotta make a couple more adjustments down here. It's a whole new ball game playing with pedals. It's very fun. Uh, all right, yeah, this song is called Three Crows. Uh, I used to play this song with the Half Moon Shine band that I used to be in. Brett and Julia and Jocelyn and Anna originally. Uh, it's really fun to play. Uh, I do miss, I miss getting to play with other people. If anyone out there wants to start a band, let me know. I'm looking. Yeah, this song is called Three Crows.
Last song. I have to fiddle with the pedals again. You gotta put the capo on. All this stuff that's really good for radio. A little bit of silence. Okay, that's the guitar. Okay, thanks again everyone for listening, for tuning in. I don't know how long it's been, but I think that maybe uh, Troy and I are gonna chat a little bit after this um, song. And this is gonna be definitely the oldest song of the whole set. It's called Shotgun. I, I, th I think I wrote it like 11 years ago. But this is a kind of different version. See legs 
Troy's just walking over that way. And that was some elder sister plum. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Oh, so happy to come in. Yeah. Uh, It's been a while. In years. Years. (laughs) I guess when was the last time that you were in here? Was it that with with uh, Half Moon Shine or was Elder Sister Plum the last time here? Uh, I think it was the Half Moon Shine, okay. but I can't remember because both <laughs> would have been so <laughs> far Probably, away. Yeah. When the Half Moon Shine were playing a lot, I wasn't doing as much Elder Sister Plum. Yeah. But I guess I could have come in after we parted yeah. ways. I don't remember. <laughs> time, time has changed so much with this pandemic as well. and. <laughs> Has it changed how you've approached creating music? Is it different than pre? Yeah, yeah. I, um, well, it's interesting. I, like, years ago in my early 20s, I uh, was really struggling with my mental health and I had a lot of sort of crisis after crisis and I, I retreated quite a bit and I wrote so much music uh so 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 much music and it was amazing it totally saved me um and some of the songs I played today are from that time um and during the pandemic I think I've only written two or three songs uh I've started writing plenty of songs um but I my relationship with playing and creating music kind of changed and I got this guitar um, and amp and and some of these pedals like maybe in the six months or two a year leading up to the pandemic and then I spent most of the last couple of years just jamming out like trying to reimagine older songs played on the electric guitar I actually haven't written a song yet uh, on the electric guitar that's one thing i was thinking so i was hearing these songs that some of them i've heard before but only on acoustic and then i don't know here you come with some pedals and distortion and like everything's got a different vibe yeah Um, it's very fun um i like i've been performing solo acoustic elder sister plum stuff for over 15 years <laughs> um and I, I it's not that I got like bored of it I just I found I kind of when I would perform I, I guess after like um once I started playing in the half moon shine I was like experiencing like the physical emotional experience of playing music like leveled up um and then I kept kind of chasing that and I find it 
um, yeah, it's uh, it just feels like there's a lot more going on for me. The electric guitar is such a live instrument, mm. you know. Um, and then I got the distortion pedal, and then I just turned into a teenager rocking out <laughs> in my room all the time, <laughs> not performing, just yeah. like playing. I didn't start performing again until super recently. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess we were talking before, but right before this, before the pandemic, you were working on songs with Brett as well as mm -hmm. like a thing. And like, I don't mm -hmm. know. And then I guess during this, you mentioned if anyone wants to start a band <laughs> as well. So yeah. Yeah. You, you're also seeking out people, I guess, to like perform in that sense. And yeah. I just love, I love singing with other people. I love singing harmonies. Um, and like Brett and I, so the songs that Brett and I were working on, we did one, one of her originals, um, and the ones of mine, again, I, I wrote them on the acoustic guitar and I was like, these just, I feel like I'm done writing the lyrics. I feel like I'm done writing the structure, but these songs don't feel done at all. And then Brett brought her electric over and I, I took mine out and, it was so fun just riffing off of each other and we were both kind of nervous about it too and but it was just her and I in my living room uh, uh supporting each other to you know try new things and like play a sweet solo I think we're each other's biggest fans like when we were <laughs> recording it was there's I have some videos that are just um like, I think, per, if I do say so myself, I think we can play some, like, sick guitar solos. Um, it's a little nerve-wracking, but um, yeah. when we were recording, we both, like, were so self-conscious about it. But, like, there'd, there'd be the other one of us, like, rocking out and cheering in the background. And anyway, yeah, so it's I, I do miss that, like, uh, the camaraderie, for one. Um you know, when I drove here, I got kind of lost on my way and it was just up to me to <laughs> figure out how to get here from the parking lot I ended up in. Um, and yeah, hearing how other people interpret my stuff and then just singing together with other people. Yeah, I love it. I miss it. And uh, usually I'd also ask if you have some upcoming shows, but you don't really have any for Elder, Elder Sister Plum, but... In this last answer, you were talking about how you'll enjoy harmonizing. You do have choir things coming up. I do. Mention your choral exploits. Yes. yes. Um, would love to make a plug. I'm in the choirs YYJ with Mark Jenkins, which is three choirs. He has the chorus, the choir, and the mini choir. So I'm in the choir and the mini choir. And we have a concert next Saturday at the Far Choir here, actually, at the auditorium here. Um, and Nilu is our guest performer. Mm -hmm. She's incredible. Brand new EP that just came out as well. Yeah, so yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, beautiful voice, beautiful songs. So the mini choir is going to back her up with a song and then the bigger choirs are going to back her up on, a, on another song. And yeah, it's also only our second concert uh, since the pandemic started. Um so it's really exciting um, for for all of us to get to. Mark, like, it was incredible throughout the pandemic. We had just started a session, I think, in late February 2020. We had just started a new session. And then, uh, you know, uh, and then the pandemic was declared. And... So we, like a lot of people, we went to Zoom choir mm -hmm. and um, Mark really, really went above and beyond to try to maintain that for us and um, find different ways to, you know, use new technologies to make that possible and, and just kind of keep us, you know, every Tuesday uh, or every Wednesday, um, we'd all still come and hang out from 7.30 to 9.30 and the first session Mark would afterwards he would play his uh pedal steel guitar and people would stay on afterwards and just keep chatting and so yeah so we've been doing our best to keep singing together we were practicing in a parking garage uh 
um, last spring or summer or something. And so it's cool to be back to um, mm -hmm. performing on a stage for people. Yeah. So I know you don't have any new recordings yet, but if someone wanted to find your music, do you want to plug some of those? Yeah, What's yes. The classic socials. The classic socials. I've got the band camp, Elder Sister Plum at bandcamp.com. I've got a SoundCloud that has some different music on it. Um, whatever the... What, you can Google Elder Sister Plum SoundCloud <laughs> and you'll get there. <laughs> Uh, I have Instagram. It's largely pictures of my cat or m my roommate's cat on my shoulders. Um, but that's also where I do. Um, I'll plug any performances or anything I have coming up. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play some Nilo because we're yes. talking about that. So. Awesome. Yeah. yeah.